Hi guys! So today's video is going to be a concealer overview. This actually was a request, so I'll put who requested it down below in the description box. Thank you so much for the request. I really, really appreciate it so much. And if you guys have any other video requests you guys would like me to film, you guys can let me know in the comments down below, or you guys can feel free to message me here on YouTube. I will greatly appreciate it. So like I said, today's video is going to be a concealer overview. Pretty much I'm going to do like a mini review on seven of the concealers that I own, and they are all drugs related, so you guys can find them at Walmart, Target, they're fairly inexpensive which is a really good thing about that um so yeah and if you guys see me looking over here it is because i have like a piece of paper that says every little thing that i like i dislike about the concealers and stuff and sometimes i just get sidetracked and i want to tell you guys every little thing that i like and i dislike about the concealers and i hope this helped if you guys have any questions or anything you guys can definitely let me know in the comments down below or feel free to message me um so yeah and it also was a request to kind of give you guys like a demo on what they look like on my face but as you guys can tell i already have foundation like my whole face routine already done because I have school in about an hour and I want to film videos for you guys before I left um because I've been MIA from YouTube um lately for about three weeks um but I will show you guys what they look like on my hand so I hope it helps all right so the first concealer I've talked about in many of my videos I did a full-on review on it and I'll put the link to that video down below in the description box if you guys want to know a little bit more on it and that is the Hard Candy Glamour Flush Heavy Duty Concealer and I'm sure you guys have heard a lot of things about this because I've seen um, many reviews here on YouTube um on this concealer so you guys can get this at Walmart that's the only place that I know that sells hard candy products it's around six dollars and it comes in this tube and you guys are probably wondering that this looks brand new but I've had this probably since it first came out I think it's been like six or so months I don't really know maybe like I don't know when it was but I know it's been longer than four months that I've had this concealer and I use it pretty much every single day and this is what it looks like like a little bit does go a long way with this concealer I've mentioned it in the whole review that I did on this um, like I'm not joking like I'm gonna show you guys how much I use on a daily basis and you guys are gonna be like surprised like that is how much I use to cover my under eye circles my blemishes you name it um, I only use that little bit like no joke so that's what it looks like um, and it's not as creamy um, as um, a lot of concealers and they come in three different shades light medium and dark and this is in the shade medium which isn't as dark um, for my skin because I'm very very light complexion as you guys can obviously tell but when I first got this it didn't have light and I really want to try it out so I tried medium and it's not that bad for me um, I usually just put it on after my foundation um, like my foundation and then my concealer and it goes on perfectly it's not too dark or anything um, but yeah with this concealer like I said a little bit it does go a long way and um, I just like to pat it um, with my fingers when I um, when I apply concealer I like to use my fingers I don't really like to use a concealer brush but you guys can do whatever you guys like um, so that's what it looks like I'm not gonna rub it in like all the way because um, that is so much concealer just for like one for my whole hand like it can cover my whole hand because it's that pigmented um, but if you use like so much for your under eye circles like you only want to like use like probably like a little bit of that amount that I showed you guys for your under eye circles and just lightly tap it because if you use so much um, it is going to tend to cake and crease and you don't want that especially under your eyes because it's not very attractive um, so yeah and you can definitely last it with um, you, or you can definitely set it with um, a setting powder to make your um, conceal last the whole entire day it is long lasting and gives you amazing coverage if you have like amazing like skin you maybe have like maybe redness or like blemishes you just want to hide a little bit and you don't want to wear a foundation you guys can definitely just try this out because it is amazing um, really really like this a lot um, what else but like I said, a little bit does go a long way with this product. You don't want to use so much because it can tend to crease and cake up and that's not attractive. So that is the Hard Candy Glam Flush Heavy Duty Concealer. I give this 5 out of 5 stars because I absolutely am in love with this. I use it all the time. Um, the next one is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Concealer, which looks like this. And this is in the shade Ivory. And it pretty much just has like a dome applicator. And this is actually um, very light for me. You guys can probably tell on my hand. Like, that's actually, like, super, super light. But my hand is a lot darker um, than actually my face. So, yeah. So, that's what it looks like. And then when you blend, blend it in, I'm not, like, actually, like, really going to blend all these in. Like, take my time or whatever. Um, 
but yeah looks like that and it does kind of dry kind of like a powder consistency which is all right but i have really dry skin so i don't really like that so i don't really use this for underneath my eyes because it can look too powdery and cakey um but it is a really good concealer for your blemishes or if you have like redness or anything and i think this is maybe under like six or so dollars um, but it dries really really quickly so you have to like work with it like really really quickly like you can't take your time with blending it out or whatever um, but it does give you really really good coverage it lasts for the whole entire day I just like to use more for blemishes or maybe if you have acne or redness or stuff I don't really like to use this for underneath my eyes but um, yeah it goes on really really smoothly it doesn't crease or anything um, what else? If you do use a lot, I think with pretty much any concealer, it does um, tend to get cakey, which you kind of want to avoid that. And yeah, it's very easy to blend. And I do really like this concealer a lot. The reason why I tried this out is because I'm like in love with the Maybelline Superstay foundation. And I want to see if I like this. And I do like it. And I probably would not buy this again. But I give this 3 out of 5 stars. Okay, the next one is actually a concealer that is actually discontinued, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys since it is kind of like in my concealer collection, and it is the Maybelline Dream Mousse Concealer, um, which I'm kind of sad that it is discontinued because I'm in love with this concealer. This is like my second one of these, and I got it during the CVS, like 50-75% off um, sale, like around Christmas time, January, around that time, and um, this is in Cream Light 4-5. And I pretty much have hit pan on it. And the thing that I like about this is that when you first use it, it is really, really creamy. It's great for if you especially have dry skin like myself. And it's great for underneath your eyes. It's great for blemishes. Um, anything, it's great for like blemishes, acne or whatever. Like um, it doesn't look cakey or powdery, especially since it is kind of like a mousse formula. But then when it kind of gets to the bottom like it is now, it tends to dry up. Which is kind of, you know, pain in the butt. But, um... I mean, you can still use it. It's not, here, I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's a little creamy, but it's not as creamy as when you first um, buy it. It goes on really, really nice. Um, like, it does kind of dry, like, a little bit, a bit of, like, powder consistency, but not so much. Um, I think it's great for pretty much every skin tone, but if you do have dry skin like myself, it's actually, it works really, really well. Um, and I give this like four out of five stars. I really like this. I like that it comes in a pot and I just use my fingers pretty much with any concealer that I own. Um, it's good for redness and yeah, it's very, very light coverage. Um, it lasts the whole entire day, but I, I do use it mostly for like my blemishes or redness and stuff. I don't really like to use it for my underneath my eyes. It kind of takes a while to get used to and, to and like to try to figure out like how to use it because if you do use so much, it can tend to crease since like I said, it is kind of like that mousse, kind of like powdery kind of texture um so you want to be careful with it but it's great for blemishes um and a little bit underneath your eyes but like i said you want to be a little careful and, re and redness if you have a lot of redness in your skin um but yeah you want to put a little bit underneath your eyes if you do choose to use it for underneath um, or under your eyes so yeah i really like this a lot um the next one is actually one that i'm not a huge fan of it's the hard candy undercover agent concealer which right here is like a highlighter um, kind of thing and then this is um, the concealer so this is what it looks like just is in a ball form and that's pretty much all of the concealer that you get I don't know like if there's more or whatever because I don't really find I can't really I don't think that there's a way that you can like uh, push it up or anything so you really only get that little bit of concealer I haven't used this that much because I really don't like it um, I give this like two out of five stars um, I don't know it doesn't really last for the whole entire day. I really found that it didn't like cover um, my blemishes um, or underneath my eyes. Like it's horrible. Um, I think it's like six or so dollars. This is all right. I feel if you do put this on, this lasts a lot longer and it goes on a lot smoother. This you kind of have to like tug, and you know, I don't really like tugging my skin or whatever. Um, but it does go on like a, a it doesn't. I don't know. It's, it is kind of like powdery. But when you do blend it out, you kind of have to like tug on your skin and stuff and it takes a little bit long. So I don't really care for this. I give it two out of five stars. Um, the next one, oh, and definitely set that one with a powder because um, it can tend to crease or whatever. The next is the e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer, which I really like this. And this is in the shade Light. It comes with four different concealer colors, which I find really helpful because it comes with like, um, you know, you can mix and match them and stuff. I usually like to mix these two and then these two and stuff. It comes with a little brush. Um, these are creamy. They're not as creamy as I would like. Um, they're not like super, super creamy. 
Um, but yeah, they're really nice for blemishes and underneath your eyes. Uh, for your under eye circles i really like this concealer palette for blemishes and redness and stuff it works absolutely amazing it lasted the whole entire day and this is only like three dollars so you get four concealers for three dollars and that's an amazing deal and it's i give this four out of five stars and i really like the packaging too um what else about this oh it's very lightweight um it's very moisturizing very creamy um consistent which i really really like and I think that this is like great concealer for only being three dollars. I thought that this wasn't going to be as amazing because my sister has the color corrective one, and that one is horrible. And this one, I kind of was skeptical on buying because I didn't think it was going to be um, good. That was going to be the exact same thing as the other one. But this one is a lot more creamier. It goes on really easy, and it actually hides your blemishes. And I really, really like this a lot. And yeah, it goes on really smoothly, and I like that it comes with four different shades, and they're all. Um, very different. They're not like all the same colors. So that is that. The next one is the e.l.f. Studio Concealer, which comes in like a stick form. And this is in the shade Ivory. So it looks like that. And um, swatch it kind of for you guys. They pretty much all kind of look the exact same. Um, but yeah, this is great for blemishes, redness. Um, I don't really like to use any concealer for underneath my eyes except for this one. And um, this new one that I'm using now which is the Rimmel London True Matte or Match Perfection uh, Concealer. But this is not going to be featured in this video. I'm going to do another uh, separate video on that. Um, but I like to use this for like blemishes or redness because I have a lot of redness in my skin. So, um, yeah, I like to use this one. And it works really good. And I like to use this with a green concealer and kind of like mix it, especially on like blemishes that are really red or if I have like redness in my skin. It works really, really well. It hides it absolutely amazing. And it's kind of like a little bit of that um, powder texture to it but it doesn't um, dry up your skin or anything it's very easy to blend it goes on really really smoothly and this is also I believe three dollars it's a cream base so it's really creamy a um, little bit moisturizing for your skin great for pretty much all skin types um, great coverage and yeah it's a really nice um, soft finish and it's long lasting and the packaging is really cute um, the next one is the Neutrogena Mineral Sheer Concealer Kit with, with SPF 20. I've never really heard of a concealer that has SPF in it, but it's great. And it comes with the concealer right here, and it's actually so, so creamy. This is actually, like, um, one of my favorite under eye circles besides the Hard Tanning Glam Flush Heavy Duty Concealer. It hides your under eye circles amazing, really, really creamy, very moisturizing, especially if you have um, dry under eye area. Um, so, yeah, it looks like that. And then underneath, it just comes with like, a white powder to set it, which I really, really like this powder because it really makes your eyes appear more awakened and it's a great powder it doesn't make it look dry or anything it sets it so it lasts the whole entire day so that is pretty much my concealer overview i hope this video helped you guys if you guys have any questions on any of the concealers definitely let me know and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys